Keegan Murray, a lot of noise about Keegan here in Sacramento this past season. What do you think his ceiling is as an NBA player? And, and did that ceiling change for you throughout this past season at all? Uh, he had a very impressive rookie year to me. Um, in terms of what his ceiling is, I'm not entirely certain because we don't know a lot about what he would look like if he becomes more of a primary offensive creator. I think this year the Kings would be wise to to give him some of those opportunities and kind of see if he has the, the juice to develop in that area. Who are you looking forward to stepping up this year? Keegan. He got to earn it. Mm -hmm. He got the chance. Mm -hmm. I see it. I see it. This is a guy who, who led the country in scoring his last year in college, and he comes out and just has one of the most uh, efficient rookie seasons as a you know third, fourth, fifth option right. because that's what was was needed of him. That said, how is he going to create more for himself, create more for others, be more of an initiator than maybe a play finisher? And summer league is a great a great opportunity for him to do that. Keegan emotionally has taken a huge step, um, and, and we're going to need him too. I think Fox has done an unbelievable job being a big brother to him, um, and those two working together to me is pretty special. I knew he was going to be in town. He knew I was going to be in town, and uh, we just let both our coaches know we wanted to get some individual work together and stuff like that, and know that it benefit not only him but me um, a lot. So. Um, it was really cool for him to be here. Obviously, he just had a newborn, um, so that played into the factor of him being here, too. So, but. <laughs> if we weren't here, if we like went somewhere, yeah, we've seen Keegan just about every day. And we've worked out every day together. We play one-on-one -on -one three, four times a week, and so I feel like that's just helped me a lot um, in different areas on the court. Um, and it's, it's rare to have a vet take in someone. Uh, especially a rookie, um, as their own. And I think that's just something really cool that uh, he's allowed me to do. I think Keegan's going to be so much better this year than he was last year. Um, like, he's gotten a lot more comfortable dribbling the ball and he's creating for himself. Yes. Like, you can work on stuff and work on stuff one-on-one, -on -one, but it doesn't translate. Let's go, a little bit of pace. Come on, a little bit of pace. Corner three, find a way, find a way, drive and kick, corner three. It's the beginning, we just got started. I think the whole organization uh, knows he's going to have to take a next step for us to take a next step. I mean, obviously, I proved that I'm a really good shooter, but there's a lot of areas that uh, I've, I want to work on, have worked on so far this summer, and just trying to expand my, expand my game as much as possible. Oh, wait, 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 Keegan, what do you got for us, Keegan? Uh, I mean, we dominated the Cal Classic last year, so why not do it this year? Hey, here we go! Together on three, one, two, three. Together. And welcome to downtown Sacramento on this Monday evening. Tip all sets to come between the Golden State Warriors and Sacramento Kings, right here on ESV Eds. Challenged him before the game and uh, in front of the team. And so this is your last summer league game. It's the last time you get to play in a real game until next season. And obviously, he took it in the Working on Hawkins. Oh, step back three.
Winner attack, Keegan. Coach Brown challenged Keegan and said, I want you to grow your game this summer. And one thing I want you to do is play a couple games in summer league where you could be the guy. Keegan being Keegan, he just comes out and drops 70 plus in two games and says, yeah, coach, I got that. Obviously, Keegan had a hell of a game. Good job. Great summer league. All right, good job. He was the best player on the floor every time they stepped on the floor. Yep. And he showed us more tonight, 41 points. He looks like he's taken a serious step. Again, I, I can't speak highly enough of Keegan. He's um, just for him to show up with a good attitude and lead this group for a couple of games. I mean, it speaks volumes and it, it speaks to his character. Thanks, guys. OK, see you in Vegas. I don't care who it is. One through five. Right. Other guys are getting to the corners. You just pick a side, and we're going strong side, DHO, and we're attacking off this. I trust Mike a lot with his feel for his staff. I think for Luke, being able to be a head coach, see all the pressures, all the different things that go into that, whether it's in a game, whether it's the media, whether it's practice. What's up, Kobe? What's up, Charlie? You guys want to come up here? OK, come on. You know, I think not just for Luke to get the experience for himself, but to be a better assistant coach uh, for Coach Brown going forward. All right, quick, quick thoughts on the scrimmage. It's this guy's option if he hits the five. It's so great for my growth to understand what he goes through. I told Mike a couple days ago that I will bother him much less because you're, you're just getting pulled in every different direction. Jordan, two for one. Jordan, two for one. Jordan, two for one. Let's go. Attack. 33. Let's fucking get up and down. Here we go. Here we go. What's the one word I keep saying? Physicality. Come on, it, baby. It, without a doubt, will make me a better assistant coach. And I think for our whole staff, in terms of their responsibility jump, now transferring to next year will make them better as a, as a staff and, and um, you know, all their respective roles. Oh, nice pass. Good cut by Colby Jones. Tonight. Ford! Nothing but the bottom of it in. Ellis. Got the three. All the way in. Finish in transition. <laughs> Sacramento wins it. 92-84. Our guys got better and they're a little bit more prepared for the season than they were three, four weeks ago. Um, so as a staff, as an organization, you know, I, I thought it went really well. Uh, I commend you guys. Great fucking job. All right. I've been seeing. Two and zero in California, three and two here. All right, we dropped two games. They weren't pretty. You guys fought back and won the last two. Great job. Great job. Great job. Family on three. One, two, three. playing around they're making news left and right the king's first move of free agency was to re-sign trey lyles harrison barnes has agreed to a three-year extension with the kings the sacramento kings and all nba center demontis sabonis have agreed to a contract renegotiation and extension now morgan your first reaction to the kings adding chris duarte the sacramento Kings they have officially signed sasha vizenkov the kings have re-signed alex lynn he is back and he's back for another year according to reports the sacramento kings Kings are now signing three-time NBA champion, big man JaVale McGee. Every offseason is just another chance for us to, um, you know, not just improve the team now, but, you know, for the future as well. So what we're, what we're looking at in the offseason is, okay, what do we need for our team this year? That's priority one. But priority one B is how do we then set ourselves up for success? And that's a combination of drafting a young guy that may help us down the road, uh, setting up our flexibility on the cap so that we can, you know, have the maneuverability to go get what we need as things inevitably change. And we're hard at work over that. We're able to benefit from from some of those things and, you know, put ourselves in a position where we think we've, we've got a pretty good and deep team this year, but also we're set up for years to come. 
Last year, their goal was to address their shooting. This year, their, their priority is going to be retaining their own free agents. You know, I think coming into this year, we at least had on the table, we can bring a lot of this group back because we achieved a lot and we have guys that can continue to grow. They weren't just good last year. They had incredible vibes and they were fun. They had a great thing going. It's like, you know, I don't blame them for not wanting to mess with it. So I, I think that you did get improvement on the depth, um, but overall, you're kind of staying the same here and betting on internal improvement. And while they mention um, maintain, improve a lot, the other wording that I, I catch a lot is aggressive yet discipline. And I think that this is one of those discipline moments. You know, look, our, our job now is uh, it's going to be harder. We know we got a tough task ahead of us. There's a ton of star power up and down the conference, but we want to be in there for a long time. You know, whether it's next year or three or four years from now, we want to give ourselves as many shots at it as we can. I'm very happy step one's checked off, but uh, step two and three and four are going to be really hard and uh, we're up to the challenge. We're gonna bring Jay a little bit of Canada. Canadians supporting each other. <laughs> Rush a little bit of Canada for you. There we go. <laughs> yeah, there's a little Canada. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I know you know the words. We're the Molsons. God bless. and free. <laughs> the Canadian is back. <laughs> the West is only getting tougher. We're going to have to get better just to match that. Let's win this day. We know that the expectations out there are high from our fans because we've shown we're a good team. Nobody's expectations are higher than ours. Let's go, let's go, let's go, please, please. Good talk, Thomas! Yes, sir, Damian! Come on, finish three minutes.